Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing a home decor haul. I picked up a lot of really nice items from Home Goods at home and then one item from Hobby Lobby. I'm actually going to be redoing my linen closet in the next couple of days and I actually want to film a video for you guys on that whole process. But I decided to just sit down and film a video of everything that I've purchased and hopefully you guys like the items and see something that you might want to purchase for yourself. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing I got is these beautiful, beautiful shower caddies. I actually picked up two. One of them is for my master bathroom, which is black and white. Um, so this one was just perfect for it. But what really caught my eye was like the marble um, shelf. And I don't know if you guys can really see it on camera, but it has marble shelves on it. And it's actually by the brand Marble Lux. And it's just a metal shower caddy. I thought it was so pretty. And one of the things that really caught my eye, besides the fact that it's a, just a really nice shower caddy, is that the shelving is actually a little bit on the taller side because sometimes you get the shower caddies where your shampoo bottles or certain body washes, if they're too tall, it doesn't fit in here. But this particular one is pretty large, so I feel like it'll fit all of my items just fine. And this one was from Home Goods, and it was $19.99. So I thought that was a really good deal for it. And then I picked up another one in gold, like I mentioned. Um, my guest bathroom is actually like brown and beige color, so I thought the gold would be really, really pretty. Again, it has like the marble um, shelves, and it's just really luxe. I just really thought it was beautiful. So, yeah, nineteen ninety nine at Home Goods. And then from at home, I picked up this little. Um, it's just like a toilet brush cleaner. Nothing fancy about it, but I thought I'd just mention it since I picked it up um, today. But this one was only $12.99, and again, my guest bathroom is like a brown and gold color. Maybe I'll do a tour one day if you guys care. But um, yeah, I just wanted something to match, because right now I have a black one in there, so I'm going to switch that one out and then go ahead and just use this one. So yeah, nothing spectacular, just a good old toilet brush cleaner. And then this little basket right here, I want to say I got this from Home Goods. It's been like about a month since I picked it up. I was actually using this in my pantry, but I decided since I'm redoing my linen closet and the theme is going to be like all neutral tones, I figured I could use this in my linen closet. And I probably will put like extra toilet tissue or something in here to store it. I'm not really sure, but I thought that I could just use this. And this probably was like $12.99 or something. It's pretty cheap. The next thing I picked up from at home was this cute little basket that says bath on the front. It's a gray color. Then it has like these little um, rope type of handles. And what I loved about this, not only is it going to be perfect for my linen closet because I can store like extra toiletries, like toothpaste and toothbrushes for my guests, which I picked up some like travel size items at uh, the Dollar Tree. But I like that it had the four slots in here so that way I can put like different things in each compartment, like some pun swabs, like I said, extra deodorant or whatever in here. And then I like the fact that it said bath on it because I think it'll just be perfect in my linen closet. So this one was $16.99. Also from at home, I picked up this letter S, which is my initial. I thought it was super cute and you guys might think I'm crazy, but I'm actually planning on using this in the linen closet. I know, I know. It's like, girl, it's decor, like relax. but. I think that if you guys watched my other home decor videos of my utility closet that I redid, I believe everything in your home should be beautiful even if it's a closet. I want to open it and still see beauty. So you guys will see the before and after of how I decorate it. But I just wanted to use this because I got some decorative baskets that I'll show you guys in a minute. And I thought just putting this maybe on one of the shelves would look really cute. So I don't know if I'm going to end up keeping it. We'll see how it fits. But this was $19.99 at, at home. Then to go along with the decorative theme that I'm trying to go for, it's like the grays and neutral browns and uh, like tan colors. So I picked up two of these baskets, I bought two of them from Home Goods, and they were and they were $7.99, like super super cheap for how beautiful these are. And this is by the brand Taylor Madison Designs. I thought this was absolutely beautiful. Not only is it deep enough so you can store like extra toiletries and items in here, it's actually beautiful too. So not only is it functional, it's nice to look at. And so I thought this would look really cute. I like the little gray handles that it has on there so it's easy to um, take out and carry around if you need to. And so yeah, I picked up two of those. If you guys don't know where to buy like your towels and your linens and stuff, 
Home goods is the perfect place to buy them. Sometimes I'll get towels at Target and things like that, but Target is a little bit on the pricey side, and I find that I can get really, really good quality and cheap towel sets from Home Goods. Specifically uh, by this brand, I think it's called or pronounced Tahari. And these are like the smaller hand face towels. And this one comes in a set of five for only $7.99. So I picked up two packs of these, which is like the cream color. And then I also bought this gray pack, which there's only four in this pack. And this is by the Hotel Collection. And these were also $7.99. And then I picked up some, I'm not going to show you like each of these, but I just picked up like some larger towels, um, like for your body. They're pretty large, and this is by, I think it's by the Hotel Collection. I'm not sure, but as you can see, it's super long, super big, and these were $9.99. So I picked up three of these, and then I also got a gray color and also a cream color. And lastly, I saw these. Now this towel is really what kind of made my vision come together of how I wanted my linen closet to look. These are by the brand Common Thread. I picked up three of these and they were $9.99 each. But if you guys can just see, I'm gonna get a little bit closer, how beautiful the pattern is. It has like these little designs on it and it's a beige color. But I thought they were just super pretty. So I bought three of these. And then from, um, I think I got this, yeah, Home Goods. I just picked up some foaming hand soap and this is by the brand Mason. It says Confields, I'm not sure, but anyways, it was only $3.99. And if you guys ever get like body soaps and things like that at Bath and Body Works, I do go there when they're on sale. But if you want to get cheap um, items like bath soaps and things like that, Home Goods, Marshalls, TJ Maxx, they have a lot of things like this for cheap. I bought three candles. So this first one is from At Home. I've never tried candles from At Home, but I smelled this one and it smelled really good. I personally, I personally like really clean scents. I don't really like anything that's too musky or too floral scented. So this one's scent is called Linen, and it just smells like freshly washed clothes. Like it just smells really, really good. And so this one was $9.99. And so I'm just gonna use this probably in my bathroom or something. And then these other two candles are from Home Goods. I always buy my candles from Home Goods. You always get a good variety of candles, and I never have an issue with them like not smelling. This brand is really good. It's by DW, and it's called White Tea and Iris. It just smells so, so, so clean. So I love clean linen scents and then vanilla scents. But this one just smells really clean. And what I do love about their candles too, as you can see, this kind of doubles for me as decor too, because look how cute the packaging is. Like I will definitely reuse these candles once they're done burning and this could be something else because it has like this gold top with a little crystal at the top. So you can use this, like take all the candle wax out and then this can be like used for storage or something. And then the last candle I picked up from Home Goods is by the brand Sand and Fog and this scent is called White Vanilla. Oh, it smells so clean. And look how gorgeous this one is. If you guys can see, it has like that marble detail and it's a glass candle. When this is done burning, I'm going to take all the wax out and then just use this base as a home decor item because it's so, so pretty. And this one was $14.99. This was the only thing I got from Hobby Lobby. I don't know if you guys can see it all the way, but it's just a welcome sign. I'm gonna use this on my front porch. I have been looking for a welcome sign for so long. I've looked on Etsy, on Amazon, um, just everywhere. And they're always super expensive because I want one that's really, really tall. And this one is actually, this one is 59.8 times 9.5 width. So it's really, really tall and it's lightweight. It's not heavy at all. So it was only $25.99. And this one is also reversible. So on the back, it's orange and it says hello fall on it. I thought that was really cute. I can use this in the fall time, but mainly I wanted one to say welcome for all year round. Okay, next, these little glass, um, I think they're called apothecary jars, I got from At Home and I bought three of them. Um, they were actually on sale today for Labor Day. They were having like a 50% off sale. So this one was $16.99. And I plan to use these in my linen closet. Like I wanna fill one up with bath salts. We'll probably be in this one. And then I got a smaller one that was $11.99. And I'm gonna probably put like extra Q-tips or cotton balls in this one. Here's a larger one. I'm gonna put like extra soap in this one. 
And this one was $19.99, which was also 50% off. I'll show you guys what I put in those for sure once I do my linen closet video. And then the biggest thing I purchased was this bin from Home Goods, And this one was $49.00. And I'm so glad that I saw this because I was actually going to order one from Amazon, but I like this one so much better. It's just like a gray wicker type basket. And look how deep the storage is for this. I'm going to put this at the bottom um, in my linen closet. And this is going to serve as like extra storage for my comforter sets or my duvet covers. Just like extra sheets and linen that I don't really want just out like that because they're all kind of different colors. So in order to like just make it look nice and clean, I decided to get this bin to just store everything in there. So, But yeah, guys, that was all the items that I picked up within the past couple of days. I think I got everything I need to redo my linen closet. I cannot wait to film that video. So if you guys are interested in seeing that video, make sure that you subscribe to my channel and I will have that video up very soon. All right, guys, that's all I have for you. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.